Hey guys, welcome to Repurpose My Way. I'm Shelly. Today we're going to do some hearts. These hearts can be for any time. They're not just for Valentine's Day. Uh, I'm going to decorate them in, or I'm going to paint them rather, in a rustic uh, tone. I have one there that you can see that is a stained color. This one is in mineral. So all I did was put one hole near the top and I'm going to be feeding a wire through it so I'm going to need it big enough so the wire can go through. This one is the Waverly in white that I'm painting. These hearts were uh, from a stencil that I had and I just cut, just traced it out and cut them out. I made these years ago and I still had the stained one because I like to use that around the house. And I thought you guys might like to see something a little different for Valentine's or any time. So I did one coat on each and then I took my Waverly Antique Wax and instead of sanding them down, I thought I would just distress it or make it look distressed by um, just kind of dry brushing that antique wax on the, around the edges. And then I did a little bit even down the middle just to make it look a little more aged. I thought it came out really cute. Um, yeah, see there, I just brushed it down a little bit. And then I even did it with the mineral as well, um, around the edges. It just makes it a little more rustic. I think it came out really good. Okay, so here I'm showing you I cut two pieces of mechanics wire. I got this mechanics wire in black at Tractor Supply. Um, I've had this for a while and I use it on different projects, but um, I went recently to see if they had some more and how much it was so that I could share that with you, and I did not find it at the store. It may be something you have to order if you're interested in it. Um, and have it delivered to the store or mailed to yourself. Um, so from the back I fed the wire uh, into the front and then I twirled it around my scissors oh uh, I don't know two or three times it all depends on how much you want to you know how much you want that little loop in the front to have you could have a bunch of them you could just have a couple I think I did it two or three times um, and then you loop the top so you give it like a little hanger and then you go around and loop it from the back up around the top and just wrap it around and leave a little space there so that you can work your way down the heart and then I have a little bit left over so that I twirl that around my scissors and then um, I can do the same like I did with the top two or three times or however many times you'd like and push it down so that it stays and then you can maneuver it however you want it's pretty pliable it's it's strong wire but it's also soft enough so that you can move it around I really like this wire my husband found this for me so um, I've been using this for years. It works great on projects. So again, a little bit sped up here. Um, I'm just showing you how to do this second one. Feed it through the back, do your little loops, um, and then spin it around, whatever you have. I use my scissors, it doesn't really matter. And then just push it down. And there you go. There's the three hearts. And then I just decorate them up. The stained one I already had a star on it, so I went and dug out another rusty star and put that on my mineral colored one. And I had some leftover ribbon from a previous project, so uh, I used that those to put together just to make a little 
little bow for the white uh, heart that I had. enjoyed my little rustic heart decor and how I made them and please like share and subscribe have a great day thanks for watching guys <laughs>